Welcome to the boating adventure. Well, a very good morning to you. It's Saturday the 17th of June 2023 and I'm currently walking at the side of Rutland Water. Rutland Water is the largest uh, reservoir in England by surface area, that is not by the amount of water that it holds. Uh, we're spending a couple of nights at a camping and caravanning club uh, district association rally. I think that's correct. <laughs> Um, just a couple of nights and it's a beautiful uh, site, very very quiet. So I thought today we would have a, a walk around the reservoir and have a look at some of the uh, boating facilities, kayaking and also there is a trip boat that goes around the lake. So we're going to have a look. The reservoir was constructed between 1971 and 1975 and it was flooded in 1976 and it uh, forms a u-shape there is a cycle track which goes uh, most of the way round the reservoir i did cycle it uh, almost 40 years ago and uh, it didn't go all the way around in those days so I don't know whether they've altered that but there certainly was a, a bit of an uphill road section that you had to negotiate in those days so we're just heading for that cycle track now which will be uh, at the side of the, the reservoir we're currently walking in a northerly direction I would say. After um, a week and a half of brilliant sunshine and very hot weather in the UK today it's uh, slightly cloudy and the forecast is for some rain. There have been a few very very minor spots of rain early on this morning but it's certainly a lot cooler and probably more comfortable for walking. And there's a Helen and a Sandy Dog leading the way. At the side of me here is the Linden Golf Course. Looks very nice. It was very busy last night with uh, groups of people playing golf bit quieter this morning but there's a chappy over there well, there's some people over in the background it's obviously quite a popular golf course And there's a little boat out there, a um, couple of people in there doing some fishing. The reservoir goes round to our left here, quite away. And then coming back, goes off uh, to the right.
this is the uh, cycle track that uh, I must have uh, been on quite a long time ago. The vegetation has become a lot more established since uh, 1988 when I was last here. It does go through this uh, very nice uh, woodland at the side of the reservoir, much of which is now designated as a triple SI. That's a place of special scientific interest. At the time of construction, there were three settlements in the region of um, Rutland Water. These were the three Hambleton settlements. Uh, you had Upper Hambleton, Middle Hambleton and Nether Hambleton. Oh, yeah. And the last two had to be demolished to make way for the reservoir. This whole area has a, a largely uh, clay soil. So when the dam was constructed, it was constructed using clay from the middle of what is now the reservoir. The water for the reservoir is pumped in from two rivers, the River Nen and the River Welland. There is one small stream which uh, also feeds into it. So like many of the reservoirs in this area, the idea is to uh, take water out of the rivers when they have plenty and then really use this reservoir as a big uh, holding tank. The water is then used to supply places like Peterborough which is not too far away from us. a little uh, sailing dinghy out there. Okay so right over in the distance where I'm looking at the moment you can see um, Normanton Church. When the reservoir was constructed there was a danger that uh, Normanton Church would be underwater and in fact would have had to been demolished but in order to save the building they built a retaining wall all the way around it and it's made quite an interesting building because the main body of the church is lower than the water so if we get that far we'll go and have a look at it There's a lot more water sports activity here, there, lots of uh, sailing dinghies.
We've uh, walked about a mile and a half since we left the caravan this morning and we've got just over um, another mile to go to go to the church and have a look at that. Uh, to walk all the way around uh, Rutland Water uh, it's about 23 miles so I'm not going to be doing all of that today. <laughs> This is uh, St Matthew's Church at Normanton at the side of the Rutland Water and it's uh, a Grade 2 listed building It uh, no longer is a church, it uh, was deconsecrated, so, but I know that uh, it has been used for weddings and I have a feeling that there might be a wedding there today. We've seen quite a few people uh, booted and suited heading in that direction, so. It's uh, built in a very classical style. It dates back to about 1764. It was uh, deconsecrated in 1970 and it was to be uh, demolished as part of the reservoir construction as its floor was below the proposed water level but there was a, a public outcry so the lower half was filled with stone and rubble and a concrete cap constructed just below the level of the windows an embankment was built around the church leaving it as a prominent feature on the water's edge and it's now owned by Anglian Water so we'll go and have a closer look at it so we think there might be a civil wedding there uh, at the moment because there's one or two people, as I say, all suited and booted. The one celebrity which we think is going to be married there shortly is uh, Craig Revel Hallwood. But maybe not today. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs>
hope you've enjoyed that little look at uh, Rutland Water and uh, some of the water sports activities that are available. It's not somewhere we could uh, bring an inflatable uh, kayak. I don't think it's uh, permitted at all. So if we did come, we'd either have to hire a kayak or some sort of dinghy or maybe a trip out on the Rutland Bell. So thank you very much for watching and do take care.